Well guys, we got ourselves another truly sickening nitro on the track. I know you're asking yourself, why is this thing so quiet? Well, that's because this runs an original Kyosho 0.11 engine. This one doesn't even need brakes. You wanna know why it doesn't need brakes? Because it's also the slowest in the world. It goes directly into reverse. Kyosho said, no need to stop. Well, actually, I just pressed, uh, pressed down on the bottom there, spurred you with my finger, so we're gonna have to fire this up again, bro. <laughs> Let's fire it up again. <laughs> oh man, the idle was awesome. Yeah, this, this thing is, is great. I'll tell you this, man, I cannot believe I actually met a person that owns the same Nitro. I never thought that would happen. This thing is great, I love this little thing. Take a look at this old chassis. Man, Kyosho, they did things simple. Nice square fuel tank. No fuss, no mess, tiny .11 engine. We don't even need brakes. A combination two-in-one exhaust header and pipe on this unit. Notice the very skinny, thin old fuel lines. This was like a common feature on all HPI. Back then, you know, you had pretty small displacement engines. You didn't need high flow fuel lines. And this is definitely not high flow of anything. Very smooth. Well, it's because it's not actually engaging anything. This is the slider for the forward and reverse. Yeah, these are twist lock drivers. And up here. Uh, there we go. No problem. So the way this works, when you press the throttle, it moves the slider and instantly engages forward or reverse. Check this out, guys. Reverse, you see that sickening clack. Sickening clack reverse. But then it gets stuck sometimes. So right now it's stuck, now it's forward, now it's stuck. So basically, you have to like let it come to a normal idle, not on a hill. Because right now it's stuck in reverse. Uh, there you go, sickening clack. You see that? There is no like chill mode. It's only go forward or go back mode. Zero chill mode on this one. You're never gonna be able to do any Netflix and chill, is what I'm saying. Because of this slider mechanism right over there. All right, bro, let's drive it a little bit. But the idle is fantastic, right, on these old motors? Yeah. And they great. run cool. Very nice. Also, you don't need any body clips for this. It just has these little uh, pivot things that secure the body for you. All right, let's go top speed at 12 miles an hour. Well, that's top speed, guys. We just hit top speed. This is uh, the slowest nitro in the world but it's also one of the coolest and funnest. Super slow. Look at that, that's probably 18 miles an hour. Let's do some reverse. Let's go reverse. Oh, there we go. Go in reverse, baby. Oh, sickening clack, I hear it. All right, let's go back to forward, I don't like it. Absolutely nothing wrong with some vintage Kyosho Nitros, guys.
lead. I think this is a 1997. I think they came out of 97. I have one. But you gotta understand, guys, back in 1997, uh, you know, Traxxas was making sickening. Uh, well, not the Fortec yet. That came out of 98. HPI had the RS4, and Kyosho still had no brakes. Right? <laughs> We're not hating on Kyosho, guys. Uh, the Nitro Gang over here, we like all Nitros, okay? We like them all. If you run this in your backyard, that's like, you know, 20 feet long, It'll, that'll be perfect. One of the wheel nuts came off this sickening Clack Kyosho. We'll see if we can find it and maybe we'll run it a little more, but probably not because it's, you know, tiny little wheel nut. But guys, look at the idle on this. It's incredible. Did you find it? Yep. Oh my God, I can't believe it, dude. You actually found it. That's crazy. It's a nitro miracle. Let's see what we're going to do. Well, we don't have uh, anything with us to put it on right now, so let's, let's go back to home base. Sickening Kyosho right here, guys. Fuel bottle, fuel bottle. Look at that idle. Look at that fan that does nothing. But it's missing uh, the O-ring that's supposed to be on the fan, too. Anyways, more proof you cannot kill a vintage Nitro, right, bro? Can't kill him. Can't kill him. We both agree. Even if Alex Baldwin was here and he shot it, <laughs> it would still be alive. Yes, he would. I can't believe I found the same thing. This little thing runs great. Yeah. For a point eleven, you know, I think if the gearing was higher, it obviously would be faster, but like... Yeah, but they said if you go a little higher, you're gonna destroy most of the gear. Right, right. So it seems they geared it super low, obviously, because it goes directly into forward from reverse and the other way around. There are no brakes. As Kyosho said, guys, you guys don't need to stop. You know, in the future, 25 years from now, you're gonna be battling armas. And guess what? The armor will never stop for you. They're going to drive right through you. Therefore, in the future, we're going to make our Kyoshos future-proof by just making sure you go full speed at all times. And the Kyosho is fixed. She's ready to go. That's it, guys. The Kyosho might be ready to go, but my recording camera that I'm using. If you smell la, 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 what the Nitro Gang is cooking. Girl so fine, but her breath is like Ooh. She says she wanna dance, but she don't know how to move.
Nitro World Order. Nitro World Order. <laughs>